Hi there, I'm Black Bright and my laptop is playing up so I hope it doesn't freeze this time. Yeah, I wanted to talk about, um, you know, a lot of times when we listen to Brexit and we think about leaving the EU, we don't realise the impact we have on it. We think about the, um, the trade deals and all, you know, the politicians going back and forth. But I wonder if you realise the impact it's going to have on our human rights because at the moment we are protected under the European Union's human rights and they have a charter in place that protects every single one of us you know protects our human rights and our workers rights now when we leave the EU the UK want to come out with their own British Bill of Rights at the moment they've kind of combined the EU human EU um, Declaration of Rights with the British Bill of Rights and they've come up with the Human Rights Act but when we leave the EU they can actually um, cherry pick the human right elements that they want and the EU won't be able to say anything again about it we're not going to have that protection so that is extremely worrying when you think about what the EU and the European Court of Human Rights, um, their, their um, what do you call it, their modus operandi to protect us. Now, a lot of some of the stuff is still going to be in place. I think there was some we had some protection under human rights before we even joined the EU. So it's not going to be everything, but I I I get a bit concerned when. Um, when they're going to adjust people's human rights. Um, before the EU, when, before UK joined the EU back in the 1970s, um, Charles de Gaulle didn't want the UK into it because they reckoned we were in cohorts, cahoots with America. Now, it was interesting because I heard Donald Trump say just on one of these videos that Theresa May didn't listen to his advice and that is why she's in this mess. Now I don't know what he told her to do and you know it's probably in alignment with what he's doing in America. So and we all know what's happening in America. Very similar to what's happening in here but I think because America is louder and bigger it seems more um, more impactful when in fact it's exactly the same but because England is smaller it's on a smaller scale. Um, I'm just going to read the impact of leaving the EU with regard to our human rights. Um, it says the government published a white paper on a great repeal bill on the 30th of March 2017, which is meant to provide clarity about how our equality and human rights concerns will be addressed. Existing EU in place at the point the UK leaves EU will be preserved wherever possible, in quotes. That's what it says on there, the quotes are there, wherever possible. So, um, there's no guarantee that our EU rights are going to be preserved. And the protection in the Equality Acts 2006 and 2010 will be retained after we leave the EU. Well, that's something. Workers' rights that arise from EU law will continue to be available in the UK. That's good. Court of Justice of the European, um, U the European CJEU case law will be preserved but the bill will not provide any role for the CJEU that is the Court of Justice of the European don't know what that is European Union probably yeah the European Union um, in the interpretation of new laws let me read that again the bill will not provide any role for the Court of Justice of the European Union in the interpretation of new laws and will not require our courts to consider future CJEU's case law, which means that whatever case law that they put in place afterwards, they won't need the, Euro the Court of the European Union to veto it or to look at it or to get any approval from it. 
and the Charter of Fundamental Rights will be removed from UK law. Now that is serious stuff. The fundamental, the Charter of the Fundamental Rights, that is serious stuff that that's going to be removed. Still don't know the implications of that, but I know it's serious stuff. The EU law has led to changes in UK law, which protect equality and human rights. These include data protection, including greater protections for individuals around the information held about them. This is with the EU. Um, human trafficking, including greater protections for victims of human trafficking. I think they'll keep that one. Um, rights of victims of crime, making sure that victims of crime and their family have the right to information, support and protection. Well, we know they don't follow that. Um, disability rights, including improved protection at the work and braille labelling, labelling for medicine. Well, they'll probably keep that one. Workplace discrimination, including protection on grounds of religion or belief, sexual orientation and age. Hopefully they'll keep that one. Uh, equal pay, making sure that men and women receive equal pay for equal work. Well, that's in everybody's interest, so they'll probably keep that one. Among others, the Equality and Human Rights Commission, EHRC, Amnesty International, Liberty, the Fawcett Society and the National AIDS Trust warn that the bill will not protect people's rights in the UK as the government promised. They say this is in large part because the bill removes the EU Charter of Fundamental Rights from our law. That's what I was saying. That's a big, that's a biggie that they want to take that out. The Charter protects rights important to all of us, including rights to dignity, protection of personal data and health, and protection for workers, women, children and older people, LGBTI and disabled people. So they want to take that out. And you see what that protects, what the Charter protects. Let me tell you again. The Charter protects the rights important to all of us, including rights to dignity, protection of personal data and health, and protection for workers, women, children and older people, LGBTI and disabled people. So losing it creates human rights hold because the Charter provides some rights and judicial remedies that have no clear equivalence in the UK law, they write. Furthermore, by keeping the wide and complex body of EU law while throwing away the Charter, which is the code to unlock it, the government risks creating confusion, jamming itself in the mountain of legal cases, according to the EHRC. Rights that would be lost. Who's EHRC again? Oh, I can't remember now. And which do not have direct equivalence in other UK human rights law, including a freestanding right to non-discrimination, protection of a child's best interest, and the right to human dignity. So you see which, which direction that's going. I definitely see it if you don't. Trevor Taylor, an associate professor at the University of Law, explained that the Charter, although narrower in focus than the Human Rights Act, offers a more robust defence of fundamental rights. At present, the main means of protecting human rights in the UK is the Human Rights Act 1998. He said, this incorporates the bulk of the rights and freedoms enshrined in the European Convention on Human Rights into UK law and thereby enables individuals to enforce their convention rights in the UK courts. However, there is a significant limitation to the protection afforded by the HRA, that's a Human Rights Act, because it does not override Acts of Parliament. In contrast, the protection afforded by the EU Charter of Fundamental Rights is much stronger because there is a conflict between basic rights contained in the Charter and an Act of the Westminster Parliament. The Charter will prevail over the Act. I'm going to put the link for that. Oh, it was a bit of a long link, but I'm going to put the link in so you can see where all that information comes from. I'm sorry I had to read it. There's no way I could spin that off in an articulate form. But yeah, needless to say, leaving the EU at the moment, we don't know what's happening anyway. Um, 
It looks like um, that third vote ain't coming through. It looks like, um, and the one that the, what he, what Theresa May is suggesting is that we we stay in the EU, but we're not abiding by their rules, and they can't. We're not abiding by their laws or something. I don't know. Anyway, whatever it is. We're doomed if we're in and we're doomed if we're out. Oh, God help us. Yeah, I'm not even I'm not even going to go into that. All right, then. Ciao for now. Bye bye.